Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a story map. Let's go ahead and take a look at StoryMap.js, which you'll find at storymap.nightlab.com. And I'm already signed in, and I'm going to make a story map. And my story map is going to be a brand new one. I'm going to call it Great Big Things to See in North America. So we'll take a little road trip, if you will, around North America. Now, I want to start with this title page. So this is my title slide here. And in very faint te text at the top, you'll see that this is a title slide. And I'm going to write in my headline here, Great Big Things to see in North America. And I want to now fill in a little bit of information about it. This is a collection of places to see while driving in North America. And I'm going to upload an image here to appear on this first slide, this title slide. And so I have a couple of pictures and I'm going to use this one here of a giant sundial. And let's upload that picture. Now, I'm going to put in a little caption. I'm going to say sundial in Grand Prairie. Alberta, image credit, myself, I took it. Obviously, if you're using a picture from somebody else, you'll want to give them credit for that. Now, let's go ahead and save that. And now, let's add a slide. And so we want to now add a location for our first place. If we go back to the previous slide, we'll see that there isn't an option to put in a location. But when we start actually making the slides for the, the story map, now we'll have locations. So I'm going to start by looking for Grand Prairie, Alberta. There we go. And I'm going to add my media again. I'm going to use that same picture that I just used a moment ago. Let's grab that picture again. And we're going to go ahead and replace that existing file. And so there it is. And now let's say Sundial, the largest sundial in Canada. Now let's go ahead and save that and add another slide. And let's find a different location. Now I'm going to go to Jamestown, North Dakota where I'm now going to upload an image of a great big place to see in Jamestown, North Dakota. And that is this giant buffalo statue. Call this one Dakota Thunder. And I'm going to put it in here. Go to Thunder. This is a giant buffalo statue in Jamestown, North Dakota. It weighs sixty tons. Now, I want to point out that there are some marker options here. 
and you can use a custom marker here. So I can select that image as my custom marker, or I can upload another image to use as the marker, but I'm gonna use that one I already have existing. And so we'll see it be the place marker becomes actually the image instead of just that little pin mark. And we go into our background options here. We can change that background color if we want. Let's say I want to make it like a nice shade of burgundy. There we go. And now I can make it that nice burgundy. And let's save it. And now go to the upper right hand corner and let's take a look at how to share this. So we have a link to it. And you can copy that link and put it wherever you want. You can write it in your description here if you want to. And you can also find an embed code here and embed it into a blog or website. But now let's take a look and see what it looks like when my story map is finished. So here's my story map so far with just my two places and we see great big things to see in North America. And over here we can tab through and see those places. And there it is with Dakota Thunder. We can tab back and we see the sundial. And we can tab back to our cover and people can start exploring again by just tabbing through. And you'll see, in this case here, I use that custom background color, and so I have my red background. Now, I should point out that you can include links in the description for each of the places you put into your story map. You can see here, I've pasted in a YouTube link, but when you preview it you'll see that it's just a link that people can click through it doesn't actually play back the video on the same page people have to actually click on that link in order to go and see that video itself so that's how you can create a story map by using storymap.js from nightlab.com as always for more things like this please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.